guys, it is Arika Misha, and today we are cooking baked flatbreads. And if you guys have not seen flatbreads, which I'm sure we pretty much all have, today I have the Stone Fire Authentic Flatbread Nan. I got the original. These are really good. They are just they just flatbreads, guys. You guys will see when I say come out. Just flatbread, and I got the original. Sometimes I get the onion, and I get the garlic sometimes too. So today we're just having baked flatbreads, uh, and basically you can do anything you want with these. You can put anything you want on them. Let me show you. There's two in a pack, and they're really big, guys. As you can see in the picture, how they kind of made it like a kind of like a pizza kind of style. That's how they did it. Um, and as you can see right here, you can do like a like grilled chicken or grilled meat over it and cut it, slice it. Um, over here, they kind of just cut it in pieces and they made like a little spaghetti or chili over here. Um, and then here, it looks like somebody just did where well, they just put like um, shredded cheese over it. So you guys, it's just bread. It's flat bread. You can do anything you want with it. Today, I am doing, I've got some leftover uh, breakfast bacon here, some leftover bacon. Um, and I got the Tyson Simply Roasted Parmesan Herb Breast, I'm sorry. Parmesan herb chicken breast strips uh, with rib meat. And as you can see, it says here, it's fully cooked, seasoned, boneless, skinless. So it's already cooked, so I don't have to recook it. So I'll go ahead and get the bacon cooked up. Um, I'm gonna do something like, oh, let me see, let me show you guys. And in the back, I've got my Sargento cheese, my cheddar cheese, my Sargento cheddar, and I've got my Publix mozzarella cheese. So you guys will see how I'll fix it. So it's just a flatbread. We love them. They are delicious. Um, you can have them for lunch, dinner. You can use it for breakfast. Put breakfast on top of it. You can do all kinds of stuff with these flatbreads, guys. So um, like I said, we love them. So I'll go ahead and get everything prepped and ready. And when I come back, I'll show you guys how I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, flatbreads. And then we'll get them in the oven. Uh, we'll be back. Okay, while our bacon is in the oven cooking, I wanted to show you guys how I prep the chicken. Of course, remember, we are using the Tyson Simply Roasted Parmesan Herb Chicken Breast Strips, and it's fully cooked. I showed you guys before, it's already cooked, so we don't have to cook it. So it's already cooked, so. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna use the uh, cheese shredder, whatever you shred, but. I just wanted to use the shredder to shred the chicken. That way we don't have to have big chunks of chicken on top of our flatbread. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just shredding it as you guys can see. That way it'd be nice and juicy uh, shredded chicken across the top of the flat, the big flatbread. Easier to eat. It won't be all chunky. Nice small pieces of chicken across the top with that cheese and bacon. And I went with the Parmesan flavored chicken, you know, just to give it more flavor. With that bacon, oh, that's gonna be good. And I'm gonna butter the flatbread before I put it in the oven. You guys will see. So, I just wanted to come and show you guys uh, what I was doing, as you can see how I'm shredding the chicken. We might have a couple little big pieces, but that's fine. But I wanted to shred it. That way it'll be easier to eat on the sandwich, so. All right, you guys see how I'm doing it. Uh, let me zoom you guys in so you can see how I'm shredding the chicken. Just using the, the shredder. See, and that makes it real nice and small. And when I drop it across the top of that flatbread, it's gonna be delicious. All right, um, when I get the bacon out, I'm just gonna chop the bacon up into small pieces. That's all I'm doing with the bacon, so. Uh, the next thing you guys will see is me prepping these to put in the stove, in the oven. I'll be back. Okay, let's get ready to prep our baked flatbreads. So, as you can see, I've got my pan here. Um, I've got it live in aluminum foil. You guys know me, quick and easy. Uh, I like to keep everything nice and neat and clean, an easy cleanup as well. So, let's get our flatbreads out. And these things are huge. As you guys can see, these things are really huge. So, all right. Well, this pan ain't big enough for both of them. Wow, I have to get another pan out. That's fine. OK, 
okay all right I'll just go ahead and show you guys these two and then I'll go ahead and get the other two um, on another pan because this these things are so big as you guys can see they are so big they're just two of them alone taking up this whole pan so all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put butter put butter on the back because we want that to be all nice and buttery and grilled so let's flip them over and I am using my I can't believe it's not butter uh, my spray I love to spray butter guys it's so convenient and I'm gonna spray the top of course so they can be all nice and buttery and this butter will also help it cook and bake and the butter will also help it get nice and brown and all of that good stuff guys get it nice and buttered down i've got my stuff my oven preheated at 420 25 degrees uh once again let me say that again i've got my oven preheated at 425 degrees so we are going to do cheddar and white cheese today so we're going to put down our cheese first of course Put down some cheddar, the cheddar cheese. We're gonna put some of that down first. Make sure we get it all over. Cause also remember we've got the mozzarella cheese too that we're gonna use. So keep all our cheese on the flatbread. Spread that out. Make sure everybody getting that share of cheese. And that 425 degrees is going to help everything melt really good, you know, your cheese and your... So, all right, so we've got our cheddar cheese down first. And as you guys see, I did some chicken chunks. What's going on with my lighting? Okay. I've got some chicken chunks and I've got some shredded cheese and my bacon's all chopped up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle some of the shredded cheese on there. I'm sorry, shredded chicken. <laughs> yeah, this is our shredded chicken. Let's get that on there. Get that on all, all nice. These are going to be yummy. Yummy, guys. Chicken and bacon together is always so good. I don't know why they make such a great combination, but chicken and bacon is always so good together. Always. And you can load this up. You can load this up whatever you want to load it up with. You can do pepperoni, like, you know, like a pizza style. You can do ham, turkey. You guys can put it. You can put anything you want on this. All right, so let me get some bacon on here. And you guys see I just got that bacon chopped up real nice and fine. Make sure we get our bacon all spread it out. Bacon everywhere. Like I said, you guys, you can load it up. Load it up with whatever you want. That's all I like about this flatbread. You can do anything you want. Put anything you want on it. It is yours to do what you want. I just like to make sure I get it all over the place. Got to save some for the other two over there. Those are going to be good. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put the mozzarella cheese down. And then I'm going to do the chunky, the chicken chunks. Because I did leave um, some chunks for the chicken. So, you know, we've got some bite-sized chicken too, you know. It's not all shredded. These are going to be good. You guys are going to see. These are good. And you know what? They're quick and easy. Something you can do quick and easy and just throw it in the oven. I like the different types of cheeses because it gives it, you know, different flavor. You got your bacon, your chicken. Oh, my goodness. You got that chicken and bacon, cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, all kinds of stuff. And then you know what you can do, too? You can put some buffalo uh, sauce across the top. You can put ranch across the top. I'm going to put ranch across the top of mine. It's going to be good. I'm ready to eat right now. 
Y'all know I be ready. We love to eat. We love food. I think everybody loves to eat food. Everybody loves to eat. Okay, so, all right. So we got those all together. Now I wanna put some chicken chunks on top. See what I'm talking about? We are really loading this up. We loading this up. Putting chicken chunks on it now. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Chicken chunks now, we put the chicken chunks across the top. Look at that. Look at that, make sure you guys can see. You know what, let me zoom y'all in some more. I'm sorry, let me zoom y'all in a little bit more. My lighting is not doing well today. See if you guys can see better from this side. Yeah. Okay, that's better. All right, guys. Zoom y'all in so y'all can really see what it's looking like over here. Okay, so we got our chicken chunks on this one. Let me put a little bit more chicken on it. Because we've got a lot of chicken. So, let's finish loading it up. Yeah, we're going to load it up. All right, and let me move y'all over to the other one. Zoom y'all in over to that one. Okay, good. All right, so y'all can see how I'm doing it. Hold on, let me adjust y'all. All right. Okay, there we go. Perfect, y'all can see real good. Okay, so let me finish getting my chicken chunks over here on this one. Okay, okay, that looks real good. Oh yeah, looks really good, guys. And you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I am going to spray the top with butter. I'm telling you, butter makes it taste better. Butter makes it taste so good. Especially when you're doing something like this. Butter's gonna bring everything all together. You know, butter's gonna bring everything all together. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and let you guys see them both. Let me zoom you out. You guys see both of them? Zoom me in so you can see how they look delicious. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them in the oven at 425 degrees. Wait a minute, hold on. How did I forget the star of the show? How I did that? Y'all already know, why y'all trying to act like I'm not gonna put parsley on this? Y'all, y'all know I'm gonna put parsley on this. Stop playing, stop playing around. Look at that, you can't do it without parsley. Parsley makes everything look so good, fancy, tasty. I'm telling y'all, pars and parsley is so cheap. It ain't expensive. Parsley is cheap. It's not expensive at all. I love me some parsley. I will put parsley on everything. And y'all know it. Y'all see me do it. Y'all see me put parsley on everything. All right, guys. Let me go ahead. I'm going to put these in the oven at 425 degrees. And I'm going to put them in there for about 15 minutes. Give everything time to melt and roast. So, I will be back to show y'all how they look. Okay guys, I just took our baked flatbreads out of the oven. They smell delicious. I'm gonna make this quick because I'm ready to go eat. So I will zoom you guys in. 425 degrees for 15 minutes, guys. Oh, I gotta take it all in. Y'all gotta, oh, look at the cheese, the chicken, the bacon, all toasted and roasted. Mm -mm -mm. Looks amazing smells amazing oh look at that parsley parsley makes everything so pretty you take y'all back out oh so good oh and like i said you guys can make these for dinner lunch whatever you want look at that all right guys this is arika misha you seen me do it so you know i did Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, especially Instagram, guys. And don't forget, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.